Before you begin publishing through the Lulu Book Creation Tool, you'll need to be sure to format the title and section headings of your document correctly so the EPUB conversion tool can create an EPUB file that meets our distribution guidelines. Step 1. Using Heading Styles Heading styles are used to differentiate sections in your ebook. You can use a single heading style, but the Lulu EPUB converter can recognize Microsoft Word's Heading 1, Heading 2, and Heading 3 styles. Using different heading styles correctly will provide a more organized and navigable ebook experience for your readers. Each time you apply a heading style to some text, that text will become an entry in your ebook's table of contents. You may also hear the ebook's table of contents referred to as the NCX, which is short for Navigation Control File for XML. Let's look at an example. Let's assume your book has a few main sections and a bunch of chapters some of which may contain subchapters or subsections. You must create a three-level EPUB table of contents. Click on the Styles icon in Microsoft Word where you will see Heading 1, Heading 2, and Heading 3. Apply the Heading 1 style to each line containing a section name or number. Apply the Heading 2 style to each line containing a chapter name or number. Apply the Heading 3 style to each line containing a subchapter or subsection, if applicable. Because the Lulu EPUB Creator only recognizes up to three heading styles, avoid using any additional heading styles to denote chapter or section breaks, as these will not generate table of contents entries. Remember, only apply the heading style to the line containing the name of your content, not the content itself. This will ensure the NCX file only contains links and not large passages of text. Step 2. Modifying Heading Styles Click the Styles icon and then click the drop-down next to either Heading 1, Heading 2, or Heading 3. From the drop-down, click Modify Style. Under the Formatting section, you will see options that can be modified. Modified heading styles are great for implementing different fonts, spacing, and formats that can make the different parts of your ebook easier to find. Depending on which version of Microsoft Word you have, modifying heading styles can be achieved in different ways. Please note, when choosing a font for your document, use Times New Roman, Arial, or Garamond. Any other font will be converted to Times New Roman. Step 3. Keeping your title titled. Position your cursor on the first line in your document. Be sure that the title displays here. Your title must be the first line in your document, otherwise the file name from the file properties will display. This can be found under File, Properties. If the properties file name is blank, the word untitled will display as your ebook's title. You can change the file name here to ensure it displays properly as well. Step 4. Matching your table of contents with the rest of your ebook. Click the View tab and then check the box next to Navigation Pane. Next, click the icon at the top of the pane labeled Document Map. This will open a pane displaying the table of contents that was created. Be sure that any important section of your book has a matching entry displayed in the table of contents. This includes chapter headings, copyright, title page, acknowledgments, preface, sections, headings and subheadings, author bios, and further information and resources. Remember, a mismatch in your ebook's table of contents and the interior content is one of the main reasons ebooks don't pass validation. Step 5. Completing your ebook. Last but most importantly, double and triple check any links you've included in your ebook to ensure they work and take readers to the correct place. Once you've done this, save your file and upload it to your ebook project on lulu.com. After you upload your document in the design step, you will see a button to download your converted ePub file. Download the ePub file and check your table of contents to ensure everything is working properly. Once your EPUB file is correct, finish the steps to publish your ebook.